Yeah, got her back. What's the outcome? What's happening everybody? Street here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the Stank Stories. <sighs> Just sheer disappointment, to be honest with you. Um, I got her back yesterday. Uh, they, they were originally supposed to replace the lifters and the cams, which was weird. Um, but they ultimately replaced the cam phasers. Um... Took them four weeks, four weeks to replace the cam, the cam phasers. Um, majority of that was, it took like a week to diagnose it with the field investigator having to come out to authorize the warranty repair. Um, took like two weeks to get the fucking parts. Um, and then it took the guy a day to, to replace the cam phasers. And they were convinced it was good. They were like, yeah, man, sounds great. Come pick it up. I got there and it sounded really good, man. I uh, before I took it in, I could hear it at idle constantly ticking away. Tick, 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 tick. And when I when I when he he brought it forward or he brought it over to me, um, I couldn't hear it at all. It was idling. It sounded great. Um, I drove it away from the dealership, thinking, okay, um, let's, you know, drive the windows down. Let's just, let's really listen to it. I want to assess it myself. Um, and it started, it's been raining here the last couple of days. And so I had the windows down and I kept hearing like a, I kept hearing a tick, um, but it wasn't the same kind of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It, it didn't have the same rhythm to it. So I was, I was kind of trying to pass it off as like, oh, it was like, a, it's like tree seeds on the ground or rocks, you know, something that like pops, but it, it sounded like a tick. It was like a tick. Thought I heard it ticking for a second, dude. Well, if I keep, keep messing with it, I swear I heard it right there when I was pulling out of the gas station. Might just be hearing stuff under the tires. Like little, just so paranoid now. Like now the paranoia level's high. So, you know. So, um, but it sounded different. So I was, I was just kind of trying to play it off. And and I, I, I've been so paranoid about this repair to begin with, um, that you know, it's like. <laughs> The negativity involved has just been everybody, my family and my friends have been like, dude, think positive, man. It's going to be cool. It's going to get fixed. And, you know, and, and I'm trying to, or I was trying to, um, but man, I got it home and I pulled into the garage and started doing like that. Cause it would do it. It would do it the most. I mean, like I said, I could hear it at idle before, but it would do it. It would get really loud and aggressive when, you would give it like low throttle, like up to like a thousand, twelve, twelve hundred RPM or something. You'd hear it just start ticking away. Um, so when I pulled into my garage, I was doing like the fluttery thing, trying to get it to do it, but trying to keep it in like that range. And I thought I heard it once or twice, not sure, but it sounded better. It was, I was like, dude, it sounds better. It's not doing it, man. And then I parked it. And I, um, I put it in neutral and pulled the e-brake and I got out and I, I started listening to it and I could start hearing it and it just started going nuts, man. Just did, 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 did. And then I started putting the little gas on it and it got worse. And I mean, you heard the video in the beginning there, dude, it's ticking like a son of a bitch now. Like now my phone's picking it up. Like it's picking it up fine now. So, um, I don't know where we go from here. <laughs> I sent the video to my service guy and uh, asked him how he wants to proceed. I, I still like there's all kinds of videos coming out now on uh, YouTube of dudes with this problem that have actually opened up their engine and have found the cylinder scoring that I originally talked about. Um, they have all the evidence to back it up just like I have been. They recorded the tick from day one 
and have, you know, kind of vlogged, video logged it through. And it's, you know, a couple of them now have opened up their motors and yeah, cylinder scoring game over, baby. So, um, I forget what they call it. I want to, I want to say it's like cylinder inherent geometry or I don't know. I take it as like cylinder misalignment type thing. The small blocks are funky or something. I don't know. Again, not a motorhead. And this has turned out to be a fucking nightmare. I bought my fucking dream car that I waited 10 years for and it's turned into a fucking nightmare. Like I'm not going to drive this car around and have it just fucking wearing the engine out to where it's going to blow. I'm not going to be that guy that hits 60, 70,000 miles and my warranty's up and there goes my motor and words like, mm, sorry, you know, like fuck that dude, fuck that. I'm not. Um, so I don't know. I'm going to give the dealership, I think another shot to, um, God, this is going to be another fucking two to five weeks or something without the car. I've had it back for not even 24 hours. And I'm going to bring it back probably here in a little bit. Um, but I'm going to give them another shot and I'm going to tell them that they need to bore scope it and they need to look because if the cylinder walls are scored game over, dude, you know, right now I'm, I'm angry. Obviously I'm a little worked up. Um, so I'm going to give them the shot first and see what they find. Um, but if they find cylinder scoring, cylinder wall scoring, then it's over. Like, no, I'm not letting them put a new engine in. Um, I'm giving them the car back and they're giving me all my money back and who knows where I'm going from there. I, I, I have no idea where I'm going to go from there. Um, we'll have to see. So anyway, um, I don't know how much of this I like, just cut out of the video or if I'm going to cut anything out of the video because I'm just, I'm, I'm fucking heated about this, man. This is, it was a dream come true three months ago and now it's just turned into a fucking nightmare. And so I got to watch what I say because this ultimately could go down the legal road. Um, so it is what it is. So there's an update for you guys. Got the car back. They replaced the cam phaser. Still ticking, not fixed. Um, and I think we need to go another route and we'll see what happens. So thanks everybody for following me. I'll have more updates as I get more updates. And uh, don't forget to follow me on Instagram 707 or Instagram at silverstang 707 And uh, subscribe if you haven't already liked this video. Although most of you probably don't want to because it's a shitty situation. But liking the video really does help out as YouTubers. Um, and comment below and, you know, fill us in on your saga and what you guys are going through. Because there's a lot of us on these videos. Um, and we're all going through the same together. Alright guys, thanks for watching. See you next time.